What is going on here? It's Seriously. crazy, man. And pretty much the whole road is like that. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Oli. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 328 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And I have a million things on me. <laughs> the standard taking everything down from our room, which is always up a flight of stairs apparently. But we're here in the town of Pampamarca in Peru. And look at this little hospitaje that we stayed in. It was like right next to this river we actually had to wear earplugs because it was so loud that was our room just there and the river just here and this hospitaje also has a cornfield in the middle of it and some chickens and some dogs <laughs> but we are on a mission today to reach the coast so let me show you guys the route for today so we are here we have now made it halfway between Cusco and Nazca. Today we're going to be continuing on this road through Puquio, through some crazy mountains apparently, and then finishing the day at Nazca. Yes, Bumblebee survived. Well, we have a bit of a mission this morning because I don't know if you saw the previous episode, but we hello with us, but we had to basically get down these steps which are basically impossible for bumblebee but the fella he brought out a plank of wood and we basically rolled it down <laughs> so this morning we are going to have to try to drive it up these steps hopefully with the help of a board <laughs> okay ready yep okay yeah, let's try to get it perfectly lined up if we can. Yeah. Do you think like that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. How's that back wheel? Yeah. 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 Hey. <laughs> Woo, yes. Good job. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Thank you. Awesome. So everything is packed up and we gave Bumblebee a nice chain loop as well. It's already 8.30 so better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> the stand was down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Whee! On the road again. <laughs> on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. So we put all of our clothes on, our fleeces and our wind protection because apparently we're supposed to be climbing immediately up over 4,000 meters again. But it actually looks like quite a warm sunny day so I'm not sure how cold it's actually going to get. Yeah, I don't know. I mean at the moment it's 15 degrees and yeah, we are in the middle of the summer here. Look, more roadblocks here. Yeah, immediately met with boulders on the road. Crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. But yeah, for me, it's still a miracle how people dealing here in the winter time, because we were sleeping again with like four or five blankets, like really thick blankets, because it gets really cold in the night here. And it doesn't look like that the house is here having uh, heatings. So just big respect on people who are living here, like pretty much in the cold you know and they're really living at altitude here i think we must be still over 3000 meters of elevation here yeah we are at the moment at 3200 meters elevation so yeah let's see how cold it's gonna get the road ahead looks super super wiggly yeah the road looks insane oh. the doggies hey 
<laughs> doggies and donkeys. <laughs> But still, the surroundings here are just incredible. Like the place where we stayed at, if you come outside your room in the morning and you see just mountain views around, it's just, oh, it's just such a nice feeling. So many stones here on the road, really. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Wow, look at this one. Wow. These are some seriously big boulders here. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, and I think this is all man-made as well. Like, I think they purposely brought the stones off from the cliff. Yeah, how did they do that? Wow. I have no idea. Yeah, we have to be quite, quite careful here on this road. Oh, the climb starts. We've got to go up here on some hairpins. We're already leaving the valley below. Look, that's where we came from. Woo, yeah. Yeah, beautiful landscape here, but it gets windy. <laughs> it gets windy. The day of 10,000 bends. Up, up, up we go. Wow, I'm super, ex I'm super surprised by the extent of these, of these landslides of these man-made landslides. It's like a slalom parkour now here. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? It's Seriously. crazy, man. And pretty much the whole road is like that. The whole road. You really can't believe it. I mean, look at this one here. What is going on? Wow. Super crazy. There are big rocks just everywhere, you know. And this is a crazy enough road as it is with all these switchbacks and we're going like high, high, high up in the mountains. And look at this. Oh my God. Crazy. Yeah, some people really, really, really just wanted to destroy this road. Yeah. Completely, completely. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god, that's so dangerous actually. Wow, look! I mean, whew, they just made sure now that one side is actually clear, but I mean trucks going this way here, like cars going this way, you know, like it's it's like the only way which actually connect, connects um, Nazca to Cusco. Crazy man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at the trucks. They have to go like right and left. Yeah, it's like a truck slalom. Oh my god, the poor truck drivers. Wow, absolutely wow. Hello. Hello, Lama. Oh God, how cute. He has a little belt on his neck. Look at this guy, he's like on the road, two, two on the road at the moment. Yeah. At first we thought they were like sheep. They really look like sheep, but they're like sheep with long necks. Yes, they look really fluffy. So fluffy. I think they look ready to cuddle. They do look ready to... Look, he's coming over. Ah, hello. Hello. I think we probably will have an alpaca farm in the future then, hey? I would love to. I mean, look at them, hey? They really look out of this world. They look so cute. <laughs> it is so cute and peaceful. Look, 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 went the way they pop up their heads and they're like, what? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, guys. So I think we're reaching nearly the highest point in the road. How high are we now? 
4,536 meters above sea level. Whoa, that's a high elevation. Yeah, super high. Still alpacas here though, look at those guys. Yes. Oh, they love it here. <laughs> they love it here. Yeah, this is about as high up as you can ride here in South America, hey? Yeah, really crazy. I'm just so pleased that the weather is this time very pleasant and nice. Yeah, we had some really, really bad experiences up at the top of the world, hey? I cannot believe this road, really. It's so, so the worst. Oh, it's just not getting better. Yeah, but this is like, it's really nice, yeah. Air temperature, 11 degrees. From up here, we're going to have to go, well, I think all the way back down to sea level, no? I, I think so. I think Nazca is like at sea level. Oh my God, it's going to be a crazy ride down. Look at this guys, hey! Hello guys! <laughs> With the earrings! Their little ear tassels! Ah! Cute! I love them! Yeah, alpacas are basically the only thing up here at this elevation. What a stunning landscape! Totally! Just stopping here for a little rest because look, you got this awesome Altiplano Lake up here. Look at this. What can you see? Look at this little yellow bird. How beautiful. <laughs> got some coots in the lake here. Beautiful. And there's some llamas over there. What a magical place, hey? <laughs> oh wow, this uh, tractor here is clearing one of the roadblocks. It's the first time I've seen anybody actually trying to clear them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, he's got quite a lot of work to do though, hey? Yeah, definitely. Oh, he goodness. has a lot of work to do. Wow. That looks really bad here. So it's midday now and we are starting our descent down to the coast. Look at this ahead. Got some big crazy views. Epic man, epic. Yeah, we've got a long way to go down now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling down from here. There's also some sort of swarm or plague of flies here. <laughs> because they keep getting hit in the helmet. Wow, that was difficult to find a place here in town, but we finally found one where they have apparently vegetarian um, tortilla, which is really cool. So I'm super excited. Oh, gracias. Just like that we have rice again for dinner. Just gracias. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, so the weather after lunch has taken a significant turn for the worst. We went into the cafe and it was like quite hot, blue skies, and we were like, oh yeah, it's probably time to take off our gear, you know, take off our extra layers. And we got outside and it was gray, really gray. And I can't see anything actually. Look, you just got steam everywhere. <laughs> never seen anything like it crazy hopefully as we start getting down the mountain it's gonna get a little bit nicer again one hour later so we have 41 miles now to reach Nazca but it's still a very wiggly 41 miles to go and we're still in the mountains so I'm just waiting for us to get down to the desert where is this desert is it even a desert who knows Oh my lord. Whoa, what was this noise? No idea. Can I get round here? Just about. <laughs> so yeah, 41 miles, but Google Maps still estimates it's going to take us nearly two hours more. So it must be pretty windy ahead.
So I think this time we really are making our way down from the mountains. I've been saying like the whole day that we were that we were gonna descend, 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 and we just haven't. Yeah, but this road here is so wiggly now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is switchback central. But down below we are starting to see the desert mountains coming and actually we're only 25 miles from Nazca now we've done 175 miles today and it's currently three o'clock look at this we've got to go crazy man at the moment we are still Oh, 2,100 meters. 2,100 meters. Okay, yes. so we, we've gone about halfway down already. Yes, and it gets warmer finally. 19 degrees. Oh, that's nice. And most of the day it was about 10, 12 degrees. And then it was raining. But now we can finally leave the rain and the cold behind. Oh, look at that. That's a big, big, big view down there. Wow. Wow. So we've arrived at the bottom of the valley and it is hot down here oh my god it is 32 degrees at the moment super crazy yeah? and we're just coming up to the town of Nazca in front yes we will check out one place we found on I Overlander apparently they have a swimming pool <laughs> that would actually be really nice right now I couldn't imagine a swimming pool earlier on today but no. now I'm like yeah count me in because <laughs> we still haven't changed out of our like high altitude clothes I'm wearing a fleece I'm wearing a, a like a wind coat it is hot boiling hot but yeah we will go to this place first check out the prices and see if we can afford it or if we have to go on another hunt go to the right here yeah and then it's pretty much just here on the corner apparently I think it's this one here oh yeah hospitage okay all right this room here for 11 pounds it's a pretty nice room big enough mm -hmm. yeah it was a really crazy ride today going from really high altitude and like 10 degrees down to sea level 30 degrees sunshine it's like a completely different atmosphere here there's like palm trees banana trees down here there was supposed to be a pool in this place but apparently it's being cleaned <laughs> So there's no water in it. But we are here, we have reached Nazca, we are back down at sea level, and there's a lot of awesome, awesome things to see in this area. So tomorrow we are gonna be on the hunt for some Nazca lines, for some geoglyphs. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.